Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to save a module and how to load a module using Keras, which is a very interesting feature. If you want to train huge models, you definitely will need to know how to save and load a model. So just to get started, let's build a simple module. I'm, I'm not even going to train this module. I'm just sequential, sequential, okay. So I'm just going to uh, build a module and then we're gonna save this mod, okay? So let's do the usual, okay? Which is to build a module. Okay, sequential. Let's add some layers. As I said before, and I'm not going to um, Put in equals 10. I'm not going to train this model. I'm just going to, to build a model. And then I'm going to save this. Okay. So let's, let's just add another one. Okay. So we have built the model. Yeah, I forgot to put a dance over here. So, I'm almost there. Let's compile this. Um, optimizer equals Adam loss equal MSC. So, we have built the model. I'm not going to train this, but uh, let's save this. Uh, so, how can we save? What do we do to save a model? It's very simple. Okay, it's very straightforward. You just... Uh, type model dot and save which is very easy so we need to define a rename uh, you could just um, save as let's say um, simple dot h5 which is our model so right here we're gonna save this let me just open up the folder to this um, file because I need to show you guys the file so let's run it and it should save it should create a file called simple.h5 so let's just wait until the tensorflow um, the carrier's API loads tensorflow then build the this graph and then save it into a file so let's just just wait a little bit more and after that we are going to load this model into another file which you could expect it to do you should expect to do this because if you want to build a model a an application uh, you need to know how to load a model okay so yeah i should have called the summary uh, function that would show me all the parameters that this model has but I didn't do that so yeah but okay so yeah it's taking quite a while let's just hope that this doesn't uh, take too, too long yeah it's taking quite a bit let me see over here what's going on. So we are almost there. Okay. Just a little bit more. So TensorFlow uh, uses uh, something around 100, one, 100 megabytes to load. So if I see the memory consumption, I could presume how long it would take. So it's almost there. It is reaching 95 megabytes. So 100, 100 megabytes. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more than 100 megabytes. It's 100, 110. Let's wait. 113 so yeah, as you guys can see the the initialization of tensorflow it's quite 
it's qu it's a quite long process. Okay, so yeah, it has uh, finished. Yeah, it take it took a while, didn't? Okay, so we have created this uh, simple H5. Okay, uh, which is our model. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to open it to see. Yeah, we cannot. Yeah, the the, the file is it's not readable. So the what we're gonna do now is to go to the load keras file, which is another file which we're going to load uh, that file. So from uh, keras .models, there is a function called load model, which we're going to which we're going to import. Let's import numpy as np. And to load the model, it's very simple. You just create a new model and we call the function load model. And you pass your file, which is simple that h5. Okay, so I'm gonna print the summary for this model. And summary, and let's build a an array. So this this takes 10, 10 numbers. So I'm gonna create a numpy array, I'm gonna call it. Let me see test, which would be equal to np dot a range. I could say array or a range. Numpy dot zeros. Okay. Let's build the ten numbers. I'm going to you to see this. Let me see. Let's print uh, model dot predict, which is a function to compute compute the output. Uh, test okay so let's run it let's see how long it would take to run it let me see so yeah that's the time this time will be Ill. okay so you guys can see we we successfully loaded this uh, model but the uh, prediction didn't work okay because we need to expand this uh, this um, array from one dimensions to two dimensions axis equals zero so if we do this uh, let me run it again and I should see a prediction of course this prediction doesn't mean anything because we didn't train uh, or anything so you guys can see we have the prediction which is this number uh, uh, which doesn't mean anything because, uh, as I said before, we didn't even train on any real data or synthetic data. So yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, this is how you can load. We could save and you can load your Keras modules using uh, Keras. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.